why the narcissist wants you dead. The narcissist doesn't want you to be physically dead. They don't want you to cease to exist. But that is not because they care about you. It is not because they want you to live a fulfilling life. They just don't want to lose their supply. As long as you remain alive, you are able to provide them with supply. You have a useful purpose to them. You provide them with fuel. If you are giving the narcissist what they need, there is no reason for them to make you incapable of providing that to them. If you are unable to provide the narcissist with what they need, they will devalue you. They will dismiss you as unimportant because you refuse to give them what they need or you are incapable of giving them what they need. Either way, you still have a part to play. You become their negative source of supply. Maybe you give them money and a place to stay. And they can also use you as an emotional punching bag and triangulate you with other people. But even if they have no interest to be involved with you, they're still not going to kill you. They're not going to risk their image of reputation. Instead, they will just treat you as though you're dead while they focus on their new source of supply. They will stop responding to your messages. They will stop answering your calls and they will block you on social media. That is their idea of killing you. And it is far more satisfying for them. In some situations, keeping you alive will also give them the opportunity to hoover you. They gain an advantage by keeping you alive. It gives them fuel and they can use you whenever they need to. They don't gain anything by killing you. The narcissist doesn't have to physically kill you. They have other methods that are far more satisfying. They will give you the silent treatment. They will devalue you. They will assassinate your character. They will smear your name. Rather than physically killing you, they will target your self-worth. They will ruin your reputation. They will destroy your sense of existence while still getting fuel from you. Which is something they couldn't do if you were dead. While you remain alive, they can continue to punish you. It maintains their sense of superiority. It makes them feel like they are above you. It gives them fuel and it makes them feel like they have accomplished something. They can keep punishing you, which they wouldn't be able to do if you were dead. 
they might threaten to kill you but only because it gets a reaction out of you threatening to kill you puts you in a state of fear which then gives them fuel it makes them feel superior to you they would rather threaten you than to actually kill you it requires less energy and effort even though in that moment they may feel like killing you You have done something that offended them. They have experienced a narcissistic injury which will make them want to kill you. But they don't want to do that because it would cut off their fuel supply. They would be left unable to meet their needs. So although the narcissist may say or imply that they want you dead, it doesn't mean that they're actually going to kill you. They don't want to do that. It would only cause inconvenience for them. But there are rare cases where the narcissist will want to kill you. This is when they've experienced a narcissistic injury and they are experiencing wild and violent anger. Where they are unable to control their emotions. In these situations, they may even try to kill you. And it may be madly satisfying for them to physically attack you. But it will not be enough to heal their narcissistic injury. Which is why they will be forced to kill you. Once they have killed you. They will no longer be able to extract fuel from you. They might brag and boast about what they have done to extract fuel from other people at some point. But right now they are left without fuel, which will be very distressing for the narcissist. If the narcissist realizes that you are having suicidal thoughts, they will push and provoke you to commit suicide. They see it as an act of defiance. But if you're going to kill yourself, they would at least like to be in control of that, rather than have to witness something that occurred outside of their control. So they will nudge you to suicide. They will encourage you to do it. In some situations, they will even force you. There are situations where your death is needed for a particular purpose. They will have considered what they might lose if you were to die. But they see you as a problem. They see you as something that needs to be removed from their world. It's usually because you have the potential to expose them. If you pose a threat to the narcissist's control, 
if the benefits of killing you outweighs the benefits of punishing and torturing you, it will give them an incentive to kill you. In most situations, they're not going to go that far. They're not going to want you to be physically dead because that would cut off their fuel supply. They would no longer be able to punish and torture you. As long as you remain alive, you are able to provide them with supply. But making you mentally and emotionally dead will be of benefit to them. Which is why rather than physically killing you, they will suck the life out of you over a long period of time. They will sabotage your career and finances until you are no longer financially productive. They will devalue you until you lose all hope and belief in yourself. They will assassinate your character and smear your name until you're no longer current relevant or important. They will strip you of activity and excitement. They will destroy your enthusiasm. Until you become desensitized. Until you lose physical sensation. Until you lack emotion, sympathy and sensitivity. So although you're physically alive, you're mentally and emotionally dead. You have no other interest or purpose other than merely existing for the narcissist. That is more beneficial for them than killing you. And it makes them feel more alive. It gives them more energy and life. There is nothing more satisfying for a narcissist than to take a bright, energetic, dynamic and lively individual and turn them into an emotional wreck, a shell of who they used to be. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries you can email me at coachnetnarcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.